Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of The Waystone. And today, hopefully you're hearing all these Minecraft sounds. Uh, I've been recently been playing, like the last past few videos, or most of the videos, I've been playing without headphones on and been just like playing with a speaker, but it's been very quiet. And I wanted to try playing with headphones instead to be able to have it so you guys can actually hear a little bit better. Um, just because I don't want y'all to miss out on all these great sounds. Um, so today what we're doing, uh, the library, we haven't made any diamonds or anything yet uh, off of that. But that's fine. That's brand new and stuff. Don't really care about that. Uh, today we are going to be getting some stuff done in preparation for a, our main project, I guess is what it is. It's for our main project. So what we've got is I've got two maps and some planning concrete. Now we're not going to be doing the concrete today, but I have something interesting. I've seen multiple YouTubers do it, um, Minecraft YouTubers, uh, the ones that I mainly watch. Um, Beta Below uh, in the past has done this. Wells Knight just did it. Um, I've seen Fwip do it, uh, then just, oh, I, it's pretty common to do. Um, which way do I, oh, over here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to map this out and then this area out and we're going to do some planning so that we have a plan going forward. Um, I thought that could be interesting and gosh, I hate that stupid weird jumpiness this week um i haven't had much time really to play much of anything uh because i've been doing so at work we're doing this training and it's for it's admin training for the salesforce platform and it is grueling it's just i don't even it, it's literally just eight hours of sitting and hearing a lecture about something that I'm not even as a designer going to have to use, and so it's a little dull. But yeah, this week I haven't really been able to work on much of anything. That seems to be the theme for the past like two weeks is a lot of Salesforce stuff happening. Um, so yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. All right, so that's a big rectangle, and the reason for that is that is going to be the main building in this area. This is going to be the King's... I don't know what it's going to be called. Uh, the King's building of some sort, uh, something. And I think it's going to be really cool. Those are smaller ones, uh, smaller versions, basically, of this. And this is essentially going to be the, this area right here is going to be the upper class, like this area. It's going to be a little smaller uh, we'll probably extend it up on top of the these areas here, and then maybe up on top we'll have like a. Um, I think this will be good for having some uh, a what's it called lighthouse. That's what it is, and so we'll maybe we'll have a lighthouse on this cliff area, and then something. I want to do something like back here, like have cliff houses, but I don't really know. I've got a lot of ideas for this area, but I just don't really know. Um, but this, I, I don't know, would you guys like to tackle this huge building first when it comes to building this area? Or do you want to see the style first before we jump into a massive idea? Um, so you can see the style and understand what we're going to be going for. Um, and then if you did really don't like it or you have some ideas that I can tweak this, then we could do that. Maybe we'll do that. Is build one of these guys up and then tackle this huge thing this is going to take a lot of time <laughs> i know this is going to take a lot of resources and a lot of time and yeah i've i've built it once in a creative world and it it's just going to take a, <laughs> a lot of stuff but oh hi piggy you're dead very dead um but yeah so that's the planning that i've done this is going to be the big um whatever it's called the king's quarters area and then these houses are gonna still be large houses they're like three stories tall or something but uh they are going to be smaller right now i've been thinking of just an upper class and a lower class and no real middle class but we could have some middle class people 
Um, we could make this like super big, tall buildings um, and then have a middle class that kind of like disperses out or is on top of the cliffs and over here and stuff. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then this area over here, ignore all the giant spruce trees. I just did that so I could start making this area more podsly because it's going to be a much more podsly area. This giant area is actually really cool and makes me honestly think like once we get up here and I show you, it makes me think of like a Coliseum almost because it's seriously like a big old valley. Um, cause it like just naturally goes into this little circle area. And so we're going to have this, like it's going to be separated. The upper class are going to be separated from them. And there's going to be like a gate or something like this or a wall separating them. And then this area is going to be the lower class that I want to be really poor looking and ransacky. Maybe it'll extend over here. And I just want it to be pretty ransacky. And maybe up here is the middle class as well. I just don't know how far to extend it. So that's what we're going to play with today. Um, just because I want to see. I want to see how, how big of a build we're going to be doing. There's also a cliff over there. Um, yeah, why not? Break my legs. So there's a cliff over here as well. I don't really know what to do with this area, though. It's a little difficult. It's definitely a unique landscape, and it's going to be interesting to build with. Uh, in my creative world, I literally destroyed all of that and just flattened it and got rid of it and connected the oceans. I don't want to do that because that was a pain to do in creative, and I can't imagine doing it uh, in survival. Uh, this area, I think what we could do is cover that area up and get, give us more like real estate up there as well. And then we can also make this like a black market harbor area. I think that could be kind of neat. Uh, maybe we'll extend this out a bit and make it harder to get into. Um, so it's a little bit more of a shady area. I think that could be kind of cool, like a corrupt, uh, corrupt. Well, they're pirates, so it's not even corrupt. It's just how they do business. Um, and then there's so this area up here. I don't really know how to handle. Um, I don't really know what to do, how far to take it, I guess, is the issue. Because the scale of this could go up dramatically, or it could just drop off. Like, it could be, like, right here, and then just go all the way across and kind of, like, go and follow this area and kind of connect. That's kind of what I'm thinking, um, but do let me know. If what you think, um, how big you think this should be, uh, maybe we just make it this area and have the cliffs be kind of our walls. That's also a, a decent idea I had. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the idea where we're going. I'm going to get a map image of this and we're going to jump into Photoshop to try and do a little bit of editing um, so we can kind of see a little bit as to what I'm thinking and where we should go with this and this is new so I thought it'd be fun to try so I will see you guys over in Le Photoshop all right guys so we are here in Photoshop and this is gonna be interesting because I broke out my Intuos Pro um, tablet I got oh gosh I don't know how many four years ago so it's a little old but it still works and is running fine didn't even have to update anything because it's so old they can't get updates haha -ha, that's fun um, but it's working fine, um, and it'll it'll serve our purpose. But it's basically, you can just like draw on it if you didn't know. Um, and it's got little little buttons and stuff that you can do stuff with. But basically, this is, we're gonna use this to help plan what we're doing. So right now, we've got our big building right here, and it's probably like right around here. And then we've got these little buildings here and I believe right here. So that's kind of where we are right now. I'm going to turn the brush size down just a little bit. And yeah, just a little bit. So what I wanted to show is what a little bit more as to what we're going to be doing um, in terms of building, uh, like I said before. So... What I want to try and do is plan out a little bit um, of the area 
Um, and so if we take a look here, so I've marked a little bit with light blue this area right here. And this is where I think the wall is going to be. There's this cliff side right here. And so this is going to be kind of like off limits zone the cliff is going to be. So it's going to be kind of like that. Um, and then all this area will be okay, actually. That's not going to be. the. Honestly, the wall can probably come like right like this because this will be cliff and stuff. And we can probably have houses on top of this. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, and then we have a cliffside right here. Um, no, go away. We have a, cl a cliffside right here. And it'll come actually, like it runs all along this bank. Uh, and so this is kind of the edge of where our cliff is. So we've got this huge area and there will be, probably be a wall here. And so this is like the main area of where we're going to be. And I really don't know what's in this area right here. So we're just going to leave it like that. Um, and so there's this big old cliff. We won't build on this, I don't think. Um, just because it would give a strategic advantage for somebody on top of this area. And I don't think a king would want that. Uh, and so it's really just like this huge area. This is all going to be our area. And then I think we could have a, um, let's see, let's grab, grab some brown. And so I think what we could do is we, I want to have a dock area right here. And so we'll have a dock area right here. And I think what would be good, so it'll feed into here uh, and go under. And then I think this area we should cover up with grass and make it a, uh, like a little grass area. And then we can put buildings and stuff here. And I think that would be good, like having this area be buildings. Um, and then there's going to be a kind of a wall right here, I think. A little like kind of like this, uh, because this area is where the, it pinches in uh, and becomes a cliffside. So this is actually up on top. And so I think what we'll do here is we'll also have houses. It's a little difficult to see. <laughs> Honestly, it is actually rather difficult to see. Um, but what I want to do is just kind of try to lay out how the houses are going to be in this area. And I think we'll have like a lighthouse um, right here. Hee -hee, it's a little sun. I think a little lighthouse right here would be good um and so this is going to be the upper class area and so we're gonna i'm gonna build build i guess draw this all in blue um and so this is all cliff side right here and so the houses will have to go kind of right here and just like i i think having it maintain this is our dirt hut i believe yeah this is our dirt hut area so this is a little mountainy um we could probably just like flatten it um, and make it kind of a peninsula peninsula or actually no we don't want that there because we're gonna have a let's see what color do we want what should we do with the roads i think let's do orange for the roads so it'll stick out and so i think the roads are gonna go like right here uh let me get a slightly bigger brush yeah so i think the road is gonna go like right here and then um, it could extend around, and I think this is a cliff, if I remember correctly, and then lead up to the lighthouse. Um, now, the main thing, the hardest part that we're going to have to deal with here is the this like transitional area. I don't know if I if we should keep it thin like this. And have like a uh, gatehouse right here to make it so that there's a big separation between this upper class area and the lower class area. Or if we should, I'm just going to do this for now. Um, well, no, I'm going to do it along here. But right here, no, there's this is all cliff and there's water down here and stuff. And we could... Honestly, we could build up here as well because it's so protected from being just a cliff. 
that we could have some smaller houses up there. Um, but, ooh, 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 redo. There we go. I have to remember all these, like, button things on the side. I have to remember how to do these. I have not used this thing in forever. And I have to redo the sensitivity on it. Because I, did, I, I didn't have to install new drivers. I just had to, like, re install the other these like the, the ones that i was currently using because it was definitely <laughs> not working um i think actually what we should do here is we should like extend this area over so it's more like a cliff side here so like there's a cliff here and then maybe there's some cliff action stuff going on here. I think that could be interesting. If this is like all cliffy and stuff. Um, absolutely not. That's not, not the color I wanted. I want this light gray. Thank you. Yeah, so having this like a little patch of stuff right here I think could be interesting because then there's just this inlet where only a, like one boat can go in and out and so they can't actually like people couldn't actually like sneak attack them or come in and this is be a good um, black market area I think is what I'm sort of thinking um, so let's get some nice black and we can put like BM not for build monger uh, let's make that a little smaller. And we can honestly... We can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So we can make this like the black market underneath here. I think could be interesting. And I think I think what we should do is make it a shop that sells only black things. I think that could be entertaining and be kind of funny. Um, I think... Honestly, I think that this here, what the heck? Does the eraser not work? Oh, come on, Intuos. What are you doing? Fine. Making it so I can't actually. What the balls? Oh, okay. I understand now. I was like, why isn't it working? It's because it was too small. Oh, and the smooth. Why is it so not erasing? That's weird. Why? Smoothing 100? Is that the issue? I don't even know. I don't know what the issue is. It's like taking forever to erase. Okay. That's fine. That's whatever. Um, so I, I know this is really rough. Uh, I just wanted to move this oh the smoothing is not going to be good <laughs> uh, i just wanted to move these tower areas here because i'm pretty sure this ends around this area this little inlet area um and so i didn't feel like um dealing with that okay so we got this wall here and it'll come around this is the king's section let's see if let's see there i know there's a rotate okay there used to be a rotate or is it ah here we are Ooh, trippy okay so this is the king's house okay i'm gonna write that in like black just because that <laughs> that was like impossible to see all right this is the king's house and this is the road this will be the lighthouse this is the black market and honestly the black market could probably be i don't know how big we should make we probably should not have it extend way out because then it'll be seen um, and Llama, if you're watching this, can you tell me why the um, eraser is not doing its thing correctly? Um, why it's being so weird? Because it is definitely driving me nuts. Okay, so Black Market. And then we're going to extend this cliffside out. 
Um, and then we can build on top of this as well some more rich people stuffs right here. And so basically what I want is I want this area very thriving, and there's an obvious distinction between these houses and this uh, giant house. And then over here, let's use a different color for the uh, poppers. Let's use... Um, Hmm, I guess purple will do because we need something to stick out. So this area, I want to be like super. OK, that's way too big. Way too big. I want it to be like super tight knit and like crazy. Um, OK, first, it's probably smarter to lay out the roads. If I've learned anything, it's better to lay out the roads. So we'll come out here. And then so there's a tree here. This is about the circle area um, where the circle lies, or I think it might, maybe it's right here. Um, so maybe we'll have a market area like right here. And so it comes out here. And that's also, we need a mar like a totally separate market area here, I think. Unless they get their stuff from the black market because they're cheapskates. I don't know. That could be true. It could be how it's done. And they're going to need a... Um, a dock which we could put right here we could do their dock like here so it's actually like a a dock that is oh you know not black markety maybe the black market it's like the kings like the king feeds the black market that could be interesting um but i think you're getting the general gist of uh, these houses are going to be big and then the houses over here are going to be very, very, like, tight and small. And they're going to not necessarily radiate out like this. But since this is a circle, I figure that's how it's going to be. But we'll have, like, a market area. And I just want these houses to just kind of, like, I want them to have like these little roads and maybe they like it squiggles around and it's going to look like this is going to look like some sort of like th this is looking <laughs> like a weird vessel, like a weird blood vessel or something. That's really weird. Um, but like this is it's totally all over the place. There's nothing really here. It's just like, OK, this literally looks like a, a nerve. A nerve system all right we just got to start we get we, we got to connect these up but you're getting the general gist and maybe this is like the um uh let's see let's do like yellow maybe this is okay yeah, yellow was a poor choice to put on white i am an artiste i should know <laughs> what to put on white um let's see uh, let's do purple. Maybe this is their religious center of some sort. Um, I don't really know what religion. Maybe what you guys tell me what religion should these people, these piratey people, um, believe in? What should they believe in? So this will be the church area. Um, and so basically, th this is the general idea is the market area is going to be very s central, uh, very uh, sporadic all over the place. Nothing truly makes a ton of sense, just houses and stuff all over the place, spread all around, paths everywhere, basically just like not planned. There was no urban planning. We're urban planning right now for not urban planning. It's going to be very odd. But this is the general idea. And so we have to come up with a house design for this area. And we have to come up with a variety design in the design I already have for this area. Um, but yeah, so that this is the general idea. Um, so let's go back into the real world and take this and apply it a little bit. Um, and maybe work out more like where we think these houses are going to be i think that would be a good starting point i've got some blue concrete we can use that um, to our advantage so i'll see you guys over there again
All right, guys. Well, I've done a little planning. Um, so I actually, I so I flattened this a little bit more, and I think we're going to have to flatten this even more, um, especially this area. Oh, we're falling. I'm going to get back up there. But especially this area, we are going to need to flatten, so this is obviously not going up like this. Um, but we'll get to that eventually. Um, I have a few things that have stopped me from wanting to put down some plans for houses and stuff because I have some things that have to do with the landscape that I want to run by um, and get your feedback on uh, before we go plowing on through. Um, so first off, so this is kind of the roads. Acacia Wood marks out the roads, and I started covering that up, and I think that's going to be a good um, look. Once it's fully covered, I just ran out of dirt. Um, and I think I'm going to leave this actually where it is. I'll flatten it, I think, and make like a small, smaller house up here. Um, it's going to be interesting because we're going to have to come up with some different house style. Like the style can remain the same, but we're going to have to come up with a smaller house style that also looks large, if that makes sense. So like a smaller, Ooh, Ooh, that's no fun, but like a smaller will fit there but will still feel grander, if that makes sense. Um, the main thing that I want to talk to you about, well, was a few things. Firstly, so that's where the, the wall I thought could go. Um, could be like here, and we could have this area also be potentially upper class, or this could be like middle class and have a wall that runs all along here. Um, I don't really know exactly. I don't know how, f where I want to take this. Also, the sun sets so fast in this world. Um, but here, let me show you the things that I want to show you real quick um, and get your feedback on is, um, so we've got this area here, which I am thinking, so we've got this area uh, I've got the road kind of like looping out here and I thought this could be like a cool sea view almost um, like a I don't really know what how to describe it it'd be like a, a just a lookout area for the townsfolk if that makes sense like maybe we could have some uh, a guardrail and hand and like some a few stalls and stuff um, and people can just like look out to the sea and things like that. And it'd be like a nice area, more not park, but like imagine like a, a sidewalk area that is meant to be viewed. Like it's a, it's a place to go and hang out. It's not necessarily a place to, that there won't be houses. Also, I, the ax went rogue on me. Um, so that's what I'm thinking here, just because I don't really know what to do with this like i'm thinking of building it all up to around this level and terraforming this all into a stiff uh stiff steeper cliffside uh, and making it more of a cliffside balcony-esque sort of thing that the townsfolk would be able to actually like look out and have maybe a couple stalls or something um of random wares i don't know what they would sell but that's kind of what i'm thinking right here and so the thing that I wanted to show you was this area here, uh, minus the trees. So we've got currently this weird, like I just put this to box it out, but this is very strange right here because, and I don't really know what to do with this. Um, so the thing I wanted to ask you about was what do you think we should do? Because I thought what would be good is to do what we're doing over there and bring the land up here and make this kind of like an underwater cave sort of area um, because it's kind of awkward. And I want to keep this area open like this, but not like open like the waterway, not this open air area. And then we could do something down here, like maybe this becomes the like, maybe this could be the warehouse. Maybe they have like a, you know, in Skyrim where they have the, uh, um, was it the East Empire trading is all underground in this like underground hangar, um, shipyard, whatever it is. 
maybe we'll do that. Maybe that'd be something that would be of interest. Those are my thoughts. Uh, today is definitely a planning day. Um, I'm going to continue working on this, and then based on your feedback, um, I will get to doing a lot of terraforming and stuff. And uh, do also let me know, what do you want from these episodes? Do you want me to start jumping into this big project, or would you like me to go back to the main island um, and should I, do you want me to start and finish up, I guess the, like the dolphin cave. Um, and we still have to finish up the library. That's still what we have to finish that up. Um, but I want to cater this to you guys, um, because of my schedule, I can't do it all. Like I, I just can't do it all. Um, so if you would like to see this, then I'd be more than happy to start in on this. It's definitely fun to plan and think through. Um, this is definitely one of the bigger projects that I have tackled in my Minecraft uh, career. Um, and so it's fun to plan. Um, it's a little daunting. But if you guys would like to see this area start getting developed, um, do let me know. Um, and if you do want to see this area, uh, where do you want me to start? Do you want me to start to show you the style before we get into this massive because if we start getting into this and you dislike it then we'll have some <clears throat> issues because the style is very based on this building um and so i think maybe starting with one of those would be a good idea um but that just depends that depends if you guys want to see this or you want to see like the dolphin cave and the library and stuff um get finished up because we will be here for quite a bit of time um and so i just want to yeah, I just want to cater this series to you guys as best as I can um, because I want to do it all, but I know that with my schedule, I just can't do it all. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. Um, if you guys like, I guess, this kind of episode, if you like seeing the back, behind the scenes stuff, uh, do let me know and uh, let me know about all the other stuff that I wanted to have you know tell me about like if you think covering that up in that under underground area will be cool keeping that underground of the black market um yeah got a lot of ideas cooking for this area uh just would love to have your opinions so we can uh build this together uh so yeah guys it's gonna that's gonna do it for this episode if you like the video feel free to like it in real life and uh if you enjoy what I'm doing and are looking forward to this area and the just are liking this season, feel free to subscribe to be able to see more um, stuff and to join the little family we've got going here. And I will see you guys in the next episode.